Hey, hello everyone. To uh, take care of our mailbox mail thefts, I'm looking at for the association doing these mailboxes as a standard Oasis 360. There's a lock on the bottom. We'll get more into that later. I'm going to use my power drill, a piece of wood for the bottom plate, my measuring tape, and we'll get going. One thing I wanted to show you guys, I took this off um, last night, so I don't have the video on it, but the screws, mine was actually nailed in, and it's hard when you have a mailbox right next to it to get in there, so I had to kind of take a chisel and kind of break off the nail, but, you know, be careful. But the real reason why I wanted to show you this is, you see this board, it kind of broke in half, which is fine, but... I want to make sure you're, you don't ruin the substructure of this 2x6 running laterally. and You really need to, when you pull it, you need to leverage and be smart about it. And, you know, leverage against, see right here, against the board itself, the lateral. If you don't and you do this, you can end up twisting this, breaking it, pulling it off the post itself. Uh, and then what you'll have to do is buy another or two two by sixes or cut one in half and shape it and uh, and reinstall it. So just be very careful when you remove this top plate. So now that the mailbox is off, you'll see there are two looks to be two by sixes running laterally. The board that will work as a plate underneath the mailbox will be affixed to this to these two by sixes and then thus securing down the mailbox. I just want to show you the bottom of the current one. You'll see there's a board there as well. It's not perfectly fit underneath, so obviously we don't have to worry about it being perfect, but I'm a Virgo, so I'm going to work towards a perfect fit. Okay, I turned the mailbox over on its back side so I'm going to measure the bottom plate so I think about 15 inches will, will do it it gives me about a half inch slack so 15 by like nine and a half sorry 15 by nine and a half looks like that'll do it now you can use just about any piece of wood you like. I think this is a piece of pine that I got at Lowe's. It was pretty expensive. It was like $11 just for this little piece. But you can use any ply board or anything that you want. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and put 15 by 9.5 onto this board. Okay, so I took this straight edge and I drew out the 15 by 9.5. I chalked it up. There's many ways to do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my skill saw and cut it out. Make sure you measure twice, cut once. Okay, now this is a three quarter inch ply board. There's a lip, the front base. I don't know if you can see that. That's probably a 5 8 lip because this doesn't fit, but I'd rather have the 3 quarter inch strength and cover as much of the bottom as you can. So that's what a 15 and a 9 inch plate fits. A little bit of room on the edge. So now the plan is to mark the box and nail that plate into the post stand. So a couple of things to point out first. Uh, although the box is overall holds more, has more capacity, you'll see that the uh, fronts match up in the back. So it's basically the same depth, uh, a little taller. But it is 11 inches wide, and this top lateral 
is 24, which will give you, you know, basically two inches to spare. So I'm going to leave maybe a half inch on the edge to give me, so on, on each side, so that gives me a, an inch to play in the middle, if I did my math right. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Holding on an iPad and trying to work is pretty difficult. I might use a GoPro or something next time. So um, hopefully you can see this. You don't want to measure from the outside in because there's just different diameters, different distances. And you don't want to rely on that. So really what your focal point is is your post, right? So I would measure, I'd kind of eyeball out or you could measure it kind of the center of the post. I need a better pen but I'm gonna measure since the box is 11 inches wide I'm gonna measure off center half inch to the left here and then basically 11 inches from that point out and that'll give me my end point I'm gonna get a better a darker marker Okay, a couple things I want to note. You know, we call these, you know, 2x4s, 4x4s, 2x6s, but honestly, it's never that size. That's just kind of a code word. That's actually, um, seems to be like a 3x3 three three <laughs> post. So, anyway, I measured inside of that, so one and a half inches dead center. And then I actually, just from looking at things, I actually moved off dead center three quarters inch. So that's that long line to the right of dead center. And that's where the, um, from the sidewalk view, the left side of the mailbox will sit. And then from that point out 11 inches, which gives us a pretty good lip on the outside. I really wanted the separation between the boxes. So that's the plan. Again, I'm planning for uh, space for when my neighbor um, replaces theirs as well, or if they plan to. Okay, so the um, original mailbox is 19 inches long. And I noticed that they kind of split the, uh, the length across the um, your two, two, two by six laterals. So basically is right at the nine and a half point half of the 19 so since the new installation is about the same uh, depth or length I'm going to go ahead and um, make it so that it's flush and uh, again go with the nine and a half from the bottom the, the new one kind of flares out at the top so I'm going to try to use the bottom uh, length if that makes sense I'll show you in the next video.